In spas with one jet pump, turn on your jets by using the jet one button. If you have a two speed pump, press the button once and the pump will come on at high speed. And then after five seconds, it will drop back to low speed. Press the button a second time for high speed. The Jets 2 button will not do anything. If you have a two pump spa, pressing the Jets 1 button will turn on your first jet pump. This powers half of the Jets. The Jets 2 button turns the second jet pump on and powers the rest of the Jets. The air Jets can be turned on by pressing the blower button. If you turn any pumps or bubbles on, they'll always turn themselves back off after 30 minutes. To turn your lights on, press the light button. Press it again and the lights turn off. Additional presses will turn the lights back on but with a different colour or effect. The mode button will allow you to choose various modes. To move between modes, use the warm or cool buttons, then press the mode button again to set that mode. Standard mode allows the spa to heat whenever it wants to always maintain your set temperature. Economy mode only allows the spa to heat during filtration times. And then there's the sleep mode, where the spa will filter but not heat. After you've selected the mode you want, push the mode button again to lock in your choice. To keep your water clean and clear, you need to do four things. Keep the pH at the correct level. If your water has a low pH level, it will be acidic. While it will be crystal clear, it will be uncomfortable to relax in and can damage your equipment. High pH allows calcium to come out of the solution and make the water cloudy. For water clarity, your comfort and equipment life, make sure you keep your pH level between 7.4 and 7.6. Take the reading and if it's outside of this range, adjust it as directed on the bottle. Make sure to test the pH first as you'll get false readings if you test after adding other chemicals. If necessary, adjust the pH using alkalinity increaser or pH decreaser. Sanitise the water. Do this by adding an approved product as recommended by your Oasis dealer. Make sure the filtration pump is running and add the correct dose to the middle of the spa. Make sure to keep the correct level of sanitizer in the water and remember that if you're using the spa more frequently, you need to add more sanitizer. If you use it less, you should back off the dosage. Shock or oxidize the water regularly to remove body oils, makeup, suntan lotion and organic waste. Failure to do this can make the water cloudy with oily bubbles on the surface. If you're using the spa more, you'll need to shock treat the water more often. Ensure adequate filtration. Filtration is essential to remove particles and organic materials from the water. It's a good idea to add extra filtration after each use by pushing the sanitise button on your SpaNet SV control panel or push the pump button on SpaTech ST control panels. Even more importantly, remember to keep your filters clean as body oils, makeup and suntan lotion will clog the cartridges and make the water go bad very quickly. Dirty filters are also a breeding ground for bacteria that will make the water quality even worse. While our jets are self-cleaning and will rarely clog or stop spinning, it is necessary to regularly remove and check the jets for any grit or oils on the rear of the jet insert or thread. If this isn't done, they can be hard to turn on or off and to remove. To get a better grip on the jet face, try using gloves or a special grip cloth. If they're really stuck, you may have to do this when the spa is empty. Once removed, wash out the housing and use an old toothbrush to get any grit out from the thread. To clean your filters, turn the spa off, remove the filter face and unscrew the filters. Spray the filter off if it has any visible debris and then place it in a bucket with a filter cleaner. Ideally let it soak overnight, then rinse well with an adjustable spray nozzle. If you have a spare set of filters, you can use one set while soaking the other set and not have any time without filters in your spa. If your cabinet is dirty, you can simply clean it with warm water and a mild detergent. If your cover is dirty, clean that too with mild detergent. Then treat it with a product you can find at all good spa shops. Aerospace 303. Don't use Armorall. 
After really heavy use, from time to time when you're finding it harder to maintain your water quality, you should drain your spa. Use the drain fitting at the base of the spa and the attachment supplied in your warranty pack. Remove the cap, attach the nozzle, click on your hose. Twist the base of the fitting anti-clockwise and pull on the hose to start the flow. The water will flow through the hose and can be directed where you want. When you drain your spa, make sure to always refill it by placing your hose in the filter box as shown earlier. Otherwise you can get an airlock in the plumbing system. There'll be no water in the heater and you'll get an error message on the touchpad. You can try pushing the filtration pump button or pump one for spas with two speed pumps on and off to try and get the water flowing. If this doesn't work, you'll have to remove the cabinet panel underneath the touchpad and unscrew one of the barrel unions on the pump. You'll hear the air escaping and see the water start to leak from the union. Retighten it and try the pump again. Now it should work. Your massage controls, often referred to as water diverters, may get very hard to move due to sand, grit and body oils getting into the body of the diverter. If this happens, it's important to turn the spa off first to protect your safety. Next, unscrew the base of the diverter by twisting anti-clockwise. There's no need to remove the handle. Wipe or wash out the body of the diverter to remove the grit. If the body of the diverter is badly scratched, use fine sandpaper to make it smooth again. You can use detergent or methylated spirits to remove any oily or sticky marks. Then insert the handle or diverter mechanism and screw the base back on. If you have any other questions regarding the maintenance and use of your Oasis Spa, please call the retailer where you bought your spa. Congratulations on choosing Oasis Spas. With just a little care, your spa will bring you years and years of pampering and true relaxation.